This one comes to us from thecurrent.com. <clears throat> a former Rockville High School teacher and golf coach was arrested Monday on child pornography and voyeurism charges after police learned he had hundreds of inappropriate pictures of children, including upskirt and buttock shots he took of students in his social studies class, police said. We start tonight at 6 o'clock with developing news. Police are trying to figure out if there are any more victims in the case against a former Rockville High School teacher who was arrested for child pornography and voyeurism. 52-year-old Christian Stevenson resigned from his position after an arrest warrant was issued for him. Aaron and Mark, the superintendent, tells us Stevenson was a teacher in Vernon for 22 years. He also coached varsity golf. 52 year old Christian Stevenson is under arrest tonight after police say child pornography was uploaded from an email address he used. Back in August of uh, 2021, we were notified by the, uh, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, uh, and we were able to get. Uh, it ended up being a Vernon case after that. Investigators found hundreds of images of children. 40 of those were considered child pornography. Now it goes down. There's more to it. Always go to my description box to see if there's a link there to see if there's anything I may have left out. And sometimes I do for time's sake or for you just don't need all the information. You need the gist of it. Here's what happened. Um, <clears throat> but according to three arrest warrant affidavits, police were alerted in the summer by the state police that the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children received a tip about exploitive content being transmitted in emails from a person in Connecticut who turned out to be this Rockville school teacher. The investigation turned to Vernon when detectives came across local images of high school students. Those images considered voyeurism. According to the arrest warrant, many of the photographs appear to have been taken inside Rockville High School, specifically in Stevenson's classroom, various hallways and the library. The focus of many of the photographs were the buttocks, chest or private areas of young female students. Um, so this kind of makes you think twice about sending your kids to public school, huh? California, they, I'm sure they have it all over the US, but in California, they do have this thing called homeschooling uh, literally where like you you uh, enroll your kid into this homeschooling and they send you a computer and they send you a printer and they send you a whole bunch of books, textbooks. Uh, and then you just do class online from home, you know, and whatnot. So it's not fail safe, but it's better than going to public school. The warrant shows almost 50 images were taken of two female students, one just 15 and 17 years old at the time. The warrant also says none of the students appeared to have any idea they were being photographed or recorded. Police seized Stevenson's cell phone, iPad and laptop. Vernon School Superintendent says Vernon Public Schools took immediate action and placed Mr. Stevenson on administrative leave. Mr. Stevenson resigned his employment the same day and is no longer an employee of Vernon Public Schools. And, you know, it's interesting that I gave you that one because like police officers, school teachers get put on administrative leave and then they resign. Police say there could be more local victims and urge parents to talk to their children. I think uh, if you've noticed something or you see something, report it to an adult, report it to an administrator at the school. If you're having issues right now, uh, seek help from someone you trust, you know, parents, your, uh, your, your local you know, principal and or assistant principals. And Stevenson was expected at Rockville Superior Court today. Instead, he was arraigned at Hartford Hospital. I talked to the clerk about that. No word when he went to the hospital, whether it was today or another day. Uh, he's back in court, though, next month.